This method helps to compare the cytotoxic activity of different cell types using a simple, inexpensive method that does not require specialized equipment. The main advantage of this technique is that it doesn't require the use of hazardous materials, it is inexpensive, and does not require the use of specialized equipment. This method can be applied to measure cytotoxic activity of other cell types, such as CD8 plus cytolytic cells, or even to assess spontaneous death of cells without incubating with cytolytic effector cells. Individuals new to this technique will likely struggle with the optimization of target to effector cell ratio. My advice is to do a thorough search of the literature to determine the ratios that you will test when optimizing the protocol. Although this method does not require specialized skills other than pipetting accurately, the isolation of mononuclear cells and the setup of the assay plate are steps that can be easier understood and mimicked if they are observed visually. Demonstrating the procedure will be Chelsea Jacelli, a technician from my laboratory. To begin this procedure, add 13.5 milliliters of RPMI and 1.5 milliliters of FBS to a petri dish containing a 100 micrometer filter. Place one placenta on the filter and use the flat side of a syringe plunger to push it through the filter and into the petri dish. Next, set out three 15 milliliter conical tubes for each tissue. Add three milliliters of density gradient medium to each tube and slowly overlay.